Hey there, cutie pie. What you up to? Mmm, I see. And how's that going for you? Mm, well, that's good. Me? Oh, I was just heading to the kitchen. I've been pretty hungry. But honestly, I think you'll be the perfect snack. <laughs> Work? Oh, um, it's going fine, uh, I guess. You? <sighs> Did they seriously not get the hint? I thought I was being super obvious. Maybe they're just distracted by their phone. I'll try to make it a bit more apparent. Ah, yeah, that's good to hear. <clears throat> uh, you know, I just couldn't help but be distracted by how delicious you look. Mind if I get a taste? Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I want to kiss every inch of you. Mm. Mm. Huh? Oh yeah, I, I did say I was hungry, didn't I? Uh, I was just going to get some cheese and crackers. Do you want any? Uh, all right, I'll, uh, plate some up for you. What is going on with them? I mean, we've been together for a while. Wouldn't they be wanting to take the relationship up a level? In all fairness to them, we've never done anything like this before. Maybe I'm giving off mixed signals. Um, this could just be romantic flirting in their mind. I guess I need to be blatantly obvious next time. Here's your snack, Angel. I'm just going to head back to our room. Mm, I know, but the office wants me to finish a bunch of stuff in the next couple of days. I want to get a head start on it, because you know how distracted I can get. Don't worry. It'll only be for a little bit. <laughs> yes, I promise we can cuddle afterwards. Alright, I'll see you soon. Hey sweetness, can you come to our room for a minute? I need your opinion on something. Yeah, I'm behind the changing screen. Just one second. Hmm? I'm glad you noticed them. Yes, I did set up some candles. They smell really nice, don't they? I got them at that soap store by the mall. Did you know they sold candles? I didn't. Ah, right, my question. You see, I ordered some clothes online the other day. And I'm just not sure about them. Why? Just hold on. Let me step out from behind the screen. <laughs> I think they might be too small, don't you? I mean, these shorts are so tight, and the shirt has such a low cut. They don't exactly leave a lot to the imagination. <laughs> What's wrong? You look like you're getting nervous. Don't be. I think we both know that we're ready to take this step. Would you look at that? There's only one candle left to light. I'll just grab the lighter and... Oh. <laughs> Oops. Looks like I dropped it. 
I guess that means I need to bend over and pick it up. Mm. Oh, there we go. Huh? Angel? What's wrong? You don't look like you're having any fun with this. Uh, um, uh, am I not attractive to you? Is that what this is about? Is that why you've been ignoring me? We need to sit down. Um, is everything okay? Like, between us? It, it is? Then, what's, what's the issue? This is something you've wanted to tell me for a while, but you were too scared? Whatever it is, I promise I won't be upset. You're asexual? Oh, oh God. Oh, I'm so sorry for trying to tease you. I wouldn't have done it if I'd known. Promise. No, I'm not mad. Why would I be mad? You were afraid I'd break up with you. <sighs> oh, Angel. Come here. <sighs> of course I'm not going to leave you. Sweetness, I love you for so much more than your body. You're smart, funny, kind, thoughtful, and I could go on and on. <laughs> if you don't want to get intimate with me in that way, it's okay. Yes, I'm serious. I have ways of satisfying that urge myself. I would never force you to do anything that you aren't comfortable with. And I promise I won't ever tease you like that again. I should have just been straightforward and asked instead of trying to play this tongue-in-cheek game. I'm so sorry for making you uncomfortable. Um, this is going to come across as rude. But I promise I don't mean it that way. When were you going to tell me? You found out you were ace after we got together, but you were too scared to bring it up? Oh, I'm really sorry, sweetness. I'm sorry that I didn't make a space where you felt safe enough to tell me. But I promise... I would never break up with you for something like this. You are my special person. And we don't have to have sex in order for it to stay that way. Of course. If I just wanted someone to hook up with, there are lots of people out there. But I don't want that. I want someone who loves me that I love back, and that someone is you. Can I give you another kiss? Thank you for telling me. It feels special knowing that you trust me with this part of yourself that I'm assuming not a lot of others know about. I love you, Angel. And when I say that, I mean I love all of you, including the asexual part of you. As I said, you're my special person, and I treasure you for it. Now, I'm not exactly well versed on the asexual umbrella. 
That's what it's called, right? Good. But yeah, I know that being asexual means you don't experience sexual attraction, but I don't know much more than that. So if I say something wrong or screw up in some way, please tell me. I want to be able to understand and support you as much as possible. <sighs> well, since I have all these candles lit, how about we turn this spicy setup into a wholesome snuggle session? <laughs> if you're okay with it, that is. <laughs> Great. And while we're at it, why don't we catch up on that series you were wanting to watch? The one about the dragons? <laughs> I'm glad you like the idea. Now, you get comfy, and I'll go make some popcorn for us to share. Do you want me to mix in those little chocolates? <laughs> Perfect. I'll be back in a minute. I love you, sweetness. Mwah. Oh, but before I forget, <laughs> I need to get out of these clothes. <laughs> hey, I was serious when I said they were too small. They don't exactly give me room to move around much. <laughs> I feel pretty silly for buying these now. I wanted something sexy, but now I just have a waste of dresser space. Hmm, maybe I'll return them and buy something more snuggly. <gasps> what about matching pajamas? <laughs> that would be so cute. Let's look for some after the show. <laughs> 